Alright, let's um, take a look at how to um, convert a, uh, a basic electron uh, project over to Tauri. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just open up the quick start for electron. Um, we're going to use the clone approach because I do not want to set up on JS right now on my host um, and I just clone that they say npm install they are wrong it's a pnpm install I literally just said I didn't want to install on JS um, so what we're gonna do because we can is we're going to use container tower Android. For those who don't know, this is my development container when I work with Tauri projects. And it should work just fine for our purposes. So let's open that up. Let's get a terminal and we're going to run, right, we're going to create a dev container, we're going to create docker file, we're going to create docker config.json uh, and that was the docker file and that's Container or the config. This time we're gonna remove that just because I can. And um, then we're going to open folder in container. Hmm. Did I name something? Oh, wait, the container. Not the container. The container. There we go. Okay. That's much better. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Looking good so far. Sort of raining outside. Good. We have everything up and running. PNPM I. A little quirk of running in um, a dev container is that PNPM stored at least tends to add, end up in the root of your project, so you might want to add this to it. Um, with that, I do believe we should be good to go with just running pnpm start. Make sure you have that. Hmm. Oh. I tried. Most likely, it's just issues with using pnpm. Sometimes there are issues with PNPM. This might be one of those cases. Start. No. Mm hmm. Hmm. Do not want to run this on my host. I mean, we can make that change, I guess, if that's what they want. Um, uh, um, root, um, oh, 
modules, electron dust from sandbox. The mod four seven five five on modules from sandbox. Yeah, I'm start. Mm-hmm. namespaces supported network namespaces supported but failed error not operation not permitted broken pipe and for this to resort to ye old This is the benefit of using a larger framework. Just do this. Often you'll just find something that has a lot of upvotes, and as you know, you can run the container with privileged, and you won't have issues on this title. Generally speaking, not recommended, but we're just gonna go for that. Hopefully. Basically, it just runs the dev container with a bit more permissions and um, generally speaking, you don't want it, but if it fixes this, I'm fine with it. Doesn't have to be bad that it's getting all of these errors. Oh, cool. Fixed it. So here you can see a very basic electron app. And uh, now our task is going to be to convert this into a Tauri app instead, showing not exactly this output, but pretty much it. I'm mostly referring to this part where this is probably going to be different because because reasons. Um, so what do we have here? We have an index.html that has a renderer.js. This does nothing. So that's good. Uh, we have a main.js. Is that actually important anywhere? No. Um, all right, uh, Electron uses this one. So th this one is just straight up Node.js to actually run Electron, right. I'm a bit rusty on my Electron. Um, and yeah, this is just, I assume, injected uh, into the HTML file. And these are just your styles. So as you can see, really basic project. So all I'm going to do now is run cargo tauri init. Let's name it that. Uh, can be the window name, sure, and um, it should be in, let's put it in dist, and we don't actually have a web server currently for this, uh, so we're just going to do that. Um, we don't have a dev command, because we're just going to serve it uh, as a folder for now. Um, now we have Tauri in there. We're just going to create dist. We're going to move index.html. We are going to take a look at this if it does anything of importance. Uh, no, it seems to just 800 by 600. Let's check that in Tauri config. 800, 600. So it's even the same dimensions by default. Um, This technically we can do in Tauri because this is just injecting that script uh, when the window launches, but um, we're not going to bother with that because this is, yeah, 
this is useless. Um, so we're just going to delete that. And uh, this one doesn't do anything of importance, so we're just going to delete that too. Uh, this one does nothing, literally. I'm not even sure why uh, this should be a thing. I assume it's for. Let's say, no, no JS APIs are available in the process because no. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, fun for Electron to have that. So now we have styles. And we don't need to import render because it was empty. Um. And uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this should be pretty much it. Now, obviously, it's going to take a moment for it to uh, build. So all we've done now is we've ensured our um, Electron uh, frontend is served from one uh, directory um, to have better a better debugging and development experience you're probably gonna want to use a proper frontend framework um, I'm assuming more advanced Electron apps do that but uh, this one was literally just the index HTML and styles and it is a quick basic Electron app. Um, so not gonna criticize that. Um, hmm. That is a lot of stuff it's fetching. Doesn't usually take that long. Well, and yeah. Is there anything else that needs to be done with this? Currently, no. I guess technically. Mm, well, see the the Electron app had a uh, menu bar, and um, we can develop the menu bar in Tauri as well. But then again, I believe that menu bar only has like default entries that they have for debugging purposes. And in Tauri, you don't really use the menu bar for that. Um, you just control shift I in order to enter the settings or the the developer tools. And uh, that's how you get straight into that. I don't think any of the other functions from Electron in there are actually all that important. So let's see. Almost done. Just the biggest dependency left. Plus, there's a little bit of stuff that comes after. And there we go. Um, again, we have hello world we're using and then just empty because I removed the code that was related to actually you know, adding that text in there. Um, but yeah, this is how simple it can be. Now the question is, how, how have you developed your frontend for Electron? So how difficult is it going for to be for you to get something built that's put into a dist folder for your actual frontend? The next question is um, when you have uh, managed to get your frontend into a dist folder, um, how do you convert your backend functionality from the Electron way of doing it with um, Node.js to using the Tauri JS API and uh, using Rust in the backend. But that's something I'm going to go through in another stream, uh, maybe even later today, we'll see, um, where I start trying to actually convert 
like a proper uh, electron app. This is just getting started, but just to give you a quick idea, this is how easy it can be. Now it's just up to how much have you done in Node.js? How much, how, how have you set up your front end and Questions for later, basically, uh, but um, you have all the capabilities you need um, to very quick and easy. It is, I, I jokingly said at one point, uh, converting an Electron app is just three easy steps. Um, you uh, convert the front end, you convert the back end, then you run Tauri in it. Not necessarily in that order. And yeah, but anyway, that's it for this quick stream and um, see you in the next one. Bye.